Okay. Um, here's a updated pump refresher video that I'm putting together. This is basically for my uh, people in my homeschool class. I like to put the short videos out and send them out to anybody taking my class prior to the class so they can uh, get up to speed on some of the information that uh, we're going to present during our training class. So this short video is uh, for the uh, basic pump operator. And it's entitled Nozzle Pressures and Flows. All right, so for the purpose of this class, we're gonna be talking about some uh, different nozzles, different nozzle pressures. So we're going to start out with our uh, our basic handline nozzles uh, and nozzle pressures. So for the fire service, common nozzle that we're going to see is a smooth bore nozzle, and its nozzle pressure is 50 psi. So when we go to the through the training in the class, we're going to be pumping our nozzle, our smooth bore nozzle, at a nozzle pressure of 50 uh, psi. We also have combination nozzles, also known as fog nozzles. And fog nozzles, for the purpose of our of my fire uh, homeschool class, the nozzle pressures are going to be 100 psi. And we'll talk about that a little more in a second. So for inch and three quarter hand lines, uh, we have we can use a smooth bore nozzle or we can use a fog nozzle on our inch and three quarter hand lines. So some of the flows uh, for those nozzles would be the smooth bore nozzle. The nozzle pressure is 50 psi. So with a uh, tip size, we, we look at tip sizes. And for our tip size, we can see here's our, our tip, straight bore, smooth bore tip. Uh, this happens to be a 7 eighths inch tip, diameter tip. So at 7 eighths of an inch at 50 pounds nozzle pressure, our flow is going to be 160 gallons per minute. The other, uh, the other nozzle that you might see on your uh, inch three bore hand lines if you're using smooth bore. Uh, is going to be a 15 16 inch nozzle. And again, our 15 16 inch nozzle, that's that diameter of the nozzle. And a 50 psi nozzle pressure, we're going to flow approximately 185 gallons per minute. So for our inch and three quarter hand line, continuing on with the inch and three quarter inch hand line, uh, we have combination nozzles, again, also known as fog nozzles, and they have a range of nozzle pressures. So in this case, the nozzle pressures can range from 50 PSI, 75 PSI to 100 PSI. And they're also fixed gallonage nozzles, meaning that the manufacturer uh, designs a nozzle to flow a certain gallons per minute at a certain nozzle pressure, and as long as you maintain the correct nozzle pressure, that's the flow. Now, there are other nozzles known as uh, automatic nozzles, which I'm not going to get into automatic nozzles in, in this uh, dissertation here. We're gonna, we'll talk about automatic nozzles more in the, uh, in the class, but not in this little presentation. So with our uh, fog nozzle, inch and three quarter hand line fog nozzles, uh, flows can range you know, up to 200 gallons per minute based on what the, the user specifies or the authority having jurisdiction specifies for their nozzles. Again, just a little recap on the nozzle pressure for our fog nozzles. Uh, we're going to have a nozzle pressure of 100 PSI, 75 PSI, or 50 PSI. Those are three very common nozzle pressures. And again, when we uh, go into the classroom and take the class, 
going to basically do all our um, scenarios using uh, fog nozzles of 100 PSI. So smoothbore nozzles for two and a half inch hand lines. So with our smoothbore nozzle, again, we use tip sizes. And because it's a smoothbore nozzle, we're using a nozzle pressure of 50 PSI. <clears throat> so what we can see here, this is a stack tip nozzle. So our one inch tip, right? That's our one inch tip. That can screw on or screw off. So one inch tip at 50 pounds nozzle pressure flows 210 gallons a minute. Uh, we have the next tip size up is going to be an inch and eighth, the 50 pounds nozzle pressure that flows 265 GPM. And the last one in our stack tip is an inch and a quarter tip, and that flows 325 gallons per minute at 50 pounds nozzle pressure. We also have different tip sizes uh, for two and a half inch nozzles. In this case, we have a, another smoothbore nozzle. And because it's a smoothbore nozzle, it's being uh, nozzle pressure is 50 PSI nozzle pressure. This happens to be a inch and three sixteenths tip, all right, diameter. And an inch and three sixteenths inch flows approximately 296 GPM at 50 pounds nozzle pressure. And again, it's all specific to uh, to your department and what your department uses. And <clears throat> we're going to give you specific uh, numbers to use for the uh, for the pump school class. So, where do all these flows come from? So the the, uh, the flow that's coming out of the, the nozzle when we, we tell you it's a tip, it's a specific diameter size, it comes from a uh, formula from John Freeman back 1888, I believe, uh, flow from orifice formula. So yeah, there is a, there is a method to, there, there is a, you know, a reasoning behind the, the numbers that we put to the flows with the nozzle pressures. So we can see here, this is a, say, rule of thumb. This is an easy rule of thumb formula, right? So that's a rule of thumb formula to, to get the flow that's coming out of the nozzle. So we're going to take 30. We're going to take the diameter of the, the nozzle, square that, and then we're going to take the square root of the nozzle pressure. That's going to give us the GPM. Uh, the actual Freeman formula, instead of 30, they use... 29.7, but we're just going to make it easy and use some of these uh, rule of thumb formulas. So you can see here with a, a 7 8 inch tip, a 7 8 inch tip, we go to we put that into a decimal and we um, square it and become 0.76. We do, do the math and we end up with 168 GPM nozzle pressure. <clears throat> with a 15 16 inch tip, again, another common tip that we're using in the fire service that's that's pictured to the right. Again, we do the math and we come up with 185 gallons per minute nozzle pressure. We could do the same thing with an inch and a quarter tip. So an inch and a quarter tip on a two and a half inch line. Right? Um, the diameter of the nozzle squared comes out to 1.56. We multiply that by the square root of the nozzle pressure. So the square root of 50 comes out to approximately seven. So we just use seven. So we're going to come up with 325 GPM. So that's a standard formula that's been around since the 1800s from uh, called flow through orifice. Now, fixed gallonage nozzles, like we see here on the right, fog nozzle. It's basically calculated the same way from the manufacturer. So internally, there is a uh, there's an orifice internally. Uh, so the flow is based on the internal opening. So uh, you as the user, um, you as the authority having jurisdiction, you know you can specify the nozzle that you want. You can specify, hey, I want a uh, want 150 GPM nozzle at 100 psi nozzle pressure, and that's you know that's what you're going to purchase. 
Okay, let's see. Is that here? Moving along. So master stream nozzles and nozzle pressure. So we talked about um, smooth bore hand lines. Uh, we talked smooth bore nozzles on hand lines. We talked about fog nozzles on hand lines. Okay, now we're going to talk about master stream devices. So there is a difference. So in the picture here, you see a, a we call a deck gun. Uh, also known as a master stream appliance. Now the nozzle pressure is a little different. The nozzle pressure goes up. So anytime you see a device like this, the nozzle pressure is going to be 80 PSI at the tip. And we have related flow. So uh, those of you in the uh, that are watching this for the pump school, you need to commit this to, to memory. So this happens to be stack tips. So in this case, the first tip on this device is a inch and three eighths. So an inch and three eighths tip at 80 PSI nozzle pressure flows 500, 500 gallons per minute, right? The next tip size down is an inch and a half. So an inch and a half tip at 80 PSI nozzle pressure flows 600. The next tip down is an inch and three quarter that flows 800 GPM. Nozzle pressure 80 PSI, and the last tip is a two inch tip. So, sorry, two inch tip is right there. Right. So, two inch tip flows a thousand gallons per minute at 80 PSI nozzle pressure. So, for the purpose of uh, the training that you're you're going to be coming to, you need to commit these to memory. And again, um, we'll be going over these again in class. <clears throat> now, we also have master stream devices that use fog nozzles. So in the picture, you can see this blitz fire device. So with this blitz fire, we can see that there is a, excuse me, let me go back to that. So we have a, we have a fog nozzle, right? So anytime we see a fog nozzle on a master stream device, we know that the nozzle pressure is going to be 100 PSI. <clears throat> Now, there could be differences out there, but for the, again, for the purpose of the, uh, the uh, pump school class that you're going to be attending, whenever you see a fog nozzle on a master stream device, your nozzle pressure is going to be 100 PSI. Um, and again, those flows are based on the manufacturer specifications and uh, authority having jurisdiction. We can see here a, a bucket on a tower ladder, ladder tower. We can see a, a fog nozzle, fog nozzle. So when I see that, I know that I'm going to be pumping that to 100 PSI nozzle pressure. All right, so just a quick recap. It's out of there. So a quick recap on this. So smooth bore nozzles. So anytime you see a smooth bore nozzle that's on a hand line, whether it be an inch and three quarter hand line, an inch and a half hand line, a two and a half inch hand line. If you're if you're going to hold on to that line as a firefighter and it's a smooth bore nozzle, the nozzle pressure is going to be 50 psi. If you have a fog nozzle, right? See so see a fog nozzle on the end of that hand line. For the purpose of the pump school class that I give, we're going to tell you use 100 psi nozzle pressure. Understanding that there's other nozzle pressures out there such as 50 pounds nozzle pressure, 75 pounds nozzle pressure, right? And once again, we're not going to be dealing with um, automatic nozzles. Uh, we'll talk about that in class, but that's a little, little slightly different um, hydraulics uh, and pump theory with the automatic nozzle. And lastly, our, our master stream devices. So if we have a master stream device, so in this case, it's a deck gun and it has tips, smooth bore, we know we're going to be pumping out at 80 pounds pressure, uh, 80, 80 PSI nozzle pressure. If we see a master stream device, such as the blitz fire pictured above here, we know that the nozzle pressure is more likely going to be 100 PSI nozzle pressure. Again, unless it's something that's specific to that, that manufacturer, but again, you need to know your equipment. 
So that's it for this uh, real quick um, course uh, to get you guys ready for the pump school. So if you have any questions, don't be afraid to give me a call. So again, uh, any questions, shoot me an email, uh, shoot me a phone call. Thanks. Get out of this thing.